Welcome back. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, quite interesting conversation still ahead. We have a guest standing by, indeed, uh, uh, Justice Mobalaji Olajunwa of the Federal High Court in Abuja uh, yesterday stopped the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from ending the voter registration on 30th June 2022. Well, that may be a premature verdict, you know, as far as reports go. But uh, uh, the judge, what a judge granted, I think it's better to say, is an interim injunction. This is uh, the best way to put it. An interim injunction. Uh, following the hearing of an argument on motion ex parte by the Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap. Now, Serap, along with 185 concerned Nigerians, had earlier this month filed a suit. It's a lawsuit against INEC asking the court to declare uh, unconstitutional, illegal, and uh, incompatible with international standards the failure of the electoral body to extend the deadline for voter registration to allow eligible Nigerians to exercise their rights. Now, in the suit, Serap had asked the court for an order restraining INEC and its agents, as well as previous assigns or any other persons uh, claiming through it uh, from discontinuing the continuous voters registration exercise uh, from 30th June 2022 or other, any other date pending the determination of the notice or notice on motion rather or rather the motion on notice. Now the suit is adjourned to 29 June because of course uh, it's going to be heard before uh, the court. This is for hearing of the motion on notice for interlocutory injunction. All right, so we'll see how that goes if indeed uh, it will be granted on the 29th of, that, of June. That's just one day uh, to the expiration of the uh, continuous voter registration. We have joining us uh, Public Affairs Analyst Mohammed Abdullahi. Uh, Mohammed, good morning to you. It's nice to see you again this week. Well, good morning. Uh, nice for having me. Good morning, Nigerians. Uh, do you understand INEX reasons for why they cannot, uh, uh, you know, continue the voter registration exercise beyond the 30th, 30th of June, 2022? Uh, have INEX said so? I don't think so. From what uh, I have read so far, uh, the commission has said they will abide by the every court order. No, I'm, uh, I'm, so I'm, talk, I'm talking about before, before this uh, inter interim uh, order. Of course, they, they had a deadline okay. for 30th June. They said they were going to stick to it. So do you understand the reasons they gave for or why INEC uh, had to give that 30th of June as a deadline? Yes. Um, I think some of the reasons might be uh, definitely in preparations for the general elections. We know our system here will take a whole lot of time. And for the fact that, uh, apologies, we are still a whole lot more uh, around analog. I mean... We use so many manual methods. Uh, by now, I expect that uh, in 2023, uh, we will have employed more technology, uh, even electronic voting in our voting system, which was voted down massively uh, by those in power, particularly the NAS members. So I think uh, INEC needed a whole lot of time. You understand that uh, they needed time to uh, print the ballot papers, to make all the necessary logistics. and. Uh, the 2023 elections is uh, is just like um, eight months or so uh, from happening. So I understand their their plight. I understand uh, what they are uh, trying to do. Uh, but again, um, sorry if I may jump your question to what happened yesterday. Uh, it's it's is is important that uh, uh, we also give uh, many other Nigerians the opportunity to register and vote. Uh, if INET could shift. Uh, uh, um, um, some of their timelines in accommodating party primaries and what I would call a bit of uh, primary shenanigans, uh, uh, political party shenanigans, then it's also important that uh, they are able to work uh, all day and night to ensure that uh, many more Nigerians are given the opportunity to vote, to pick up their PVCs, to register and pick up their PVCs and then, and then vote. Because uh, we've been having declining uh, like a kind of voter apathy since 2015. Uh, in fact, in 2019, we had less than 36% of the total uh, voters and uh, total uh, registered voters coming out to vote, about just 28 million from 84 million. That is common. That, that doesn't even reflect um, a true presidential election where you have 84 million registered voters and you have uh, 28 million coming out to vote. In fact, just recently, the, uh, again, the elections 
that happened in Ekiti three days ago also, you have about 36% of the total registered voters coming out to vote against the 44% in, in 2018. So um, these are these are not these are not good statistics for for electioneering. Uh, so I feel even aside the fact that we needed to have more people pick up, uh, register and pick up their PVCs to vote, we need a lot more of education to do for people to come out to vote because the voter party is really uh, sickening in, in, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. All right. So you've talked about voter apathy. Um, and of course, indeed, we've been having increasing uh, uh, lower percentages of, of registered voters uh, participating in elections. Um, but I think needs time to prepare for the 2023 general elections. And uh, they had given ample time uh, for Nigerians to be part of the continuous voter registration exercise, which is the first of its kind in the history of the country, you know, having voters register on a continuous uh, basis. Don't you think that uh, we should cut the commission some slack, say, hey, Nigerians have had enough time, a lot of time to go register to vote, and I think needs time to prepare for the election. Yes, uh, it's, I, I think it's important. It's just two ways, like I mentioned uh, earlier. Both um, the preparation for INEC is very important because we don't want to uh, lose anything, or we don't have to have. We don't want to have elections that are marred by skirmishes and irregularities. But uh, having said that as well, it's also important that we also look at the side of uh, having more people coming out to vote. But like I mentioned earlier. It doesn't speak well of our country that we have 84 million registered voters and we have just about 20, 8, 28 million coming out. In fact, it doesn't reflect what, uh, because if you have uh, just 28 million from 84 million, it doesn't reflect um, the, the popular decision of people. Yeah, so uh, it's from both ways. It's important that uh, INEC has time to prepare. It's also important that we educate more. I think that's another thing. It's not just about having more people register. I think what is even very paramount that INEC should do and political parties should do, civic organizations should do and hammer on is that people should be galvanized, people should be, you know, uh, educated on the importance of voting. It is, it is our civic right and people should know that uh, whether they vote or not, in fact, if they don't vote, they, are, uh, they don't have chance in electing who uh, who govern uh, them. So it is important that, in, irrespective of the fact that we spoke uh, about uh, <clears throat> uh, voters' registration, the most important thing is canvassing people to come out to vote on the day of election. It's very important. All right. Um, uh, this, is, this is what you've said, which is very important. And I mean, uh, you, it's true that in the last general elections, you know, we had uh, uh, more than 55 million people who sat at home and they didn't come out to vote. I mean, of course, some of them may have passed on, unfortunately, or maybe some issues, but 55 million and more who had a voter's registration, a, a permanent voter card or a voter card, didn't go out to vote. Um, so so you, are you therefore saying that the problem is not in registration, but actually in people stepping out of their homes to vote? Yes, that is, in fact, that is uh, for us our number one problem. Um, if uh, going by the uh, registration in 2019, we have about 84 million registered voters. Yes, 84 million. Then we have that is almost uh, uh, a, that's almost 50 to 45, at least 45 percent of our total population, which is good. You understand? But it's a uh, it's a big problem when you have less than 30, 35 percent of that registered number. You know, coming out vote on the day of election. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very big problem. And, that, and this is where, like I mentioned earlier, INEC should do more uh, by sensitizing the public uh, via various media platforms. Civic societies should do more. It's good the work uh, Sarah is doing by ensuring that uh, or taking uh, INEC to court to extend voter registration timeline. But it's also good that we have other civic societies, organizations, other um, lobbyists coming to uh, 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 to, to converse people to come out to vote. In fact, I see uh, some of the things we've, we've had in the news earlier last month, or earlier this month, where we have some churches even turning back uh, uh, their, their, congreg their, their congregations, you know, that they must come in only when they have their PVCs. 
We also have, I've seen, I've read about the hospital that doesn't charge um, consultation fee, but uh, when you come with your PVC, you have a free con consultation before uh, other medical examinations and uh, administration. So it is, it is important that we galvanize people, uh, not only to register, but come out to vote, because it's very important. It is, it's, of, it's actually of no use. When you, are, when you are registered, you have your PVC, and you don't come out to exercise your franchise on the day of election. All right, let's look at what um, the Independent National Electoral Commission is saying through uh, its uh, uh, National Commissioner for Information and Voter Education, uh, Fessus Okoye. Uh, they're saying that uh, extending the, the, the continuous voter registration exercise may result in a significant uh, percentage of invalid uh, registrants. This is in reaction to the court's um, uh, interim injunction, you know, uh, of course. Uh, they're saying that you know, this, now I want you to sort of quote Professor Zuko. He says, quote, we recognize it as a constitutional and legal right of people to register. So Inek is not contesting that people have a right to register. We also recognize the fact that it will add value to our electoral process if we get as many Nigerians as possible to register. I think they've already said in recent time that they want as many people as possible to get registered. But they're saying that, quote, he said, quote, we cannot do the CVR ad infinitum and be registering people who have registered before. I think Nigerians should exercise patience and become. He says, at the end of the day, the commission will do all it takes uh, to improve uh, registration exercise. Uh, he says that, um, you know, the severe exercise, uh, ending it closer to the general elections, has heavy implications on the uh, preparation of the commission for the elections. He says, quote, uh, the implication is that we will all not be in a position to display the voter register for claims and objections. The second implication is that we will not have an opportunity to clean up the voter registration or uh, the voter register to remove double registrants, he said. Uh, so these are some of the issues that people who are not in ANEC may not understand. Uh, your, your, your thoughts on this? Yes, um, we mentioned that in your first question about timeline. You know, like we mentioned, INEC has a lot to do. Uh, uh, and no thanks to the fact that most of what um, still characterizes our election is uh, still very manual. You know, we have a lot to do in cleaning the register, not ensuring, not um, making sure that there are no double registration, or in fact, triple registrations. Uh, and again, we as Nigerians, this portal for registration has been on for about um, two months or more, or even more. You understand that you can continuously register and update your, uh, what's it called? You update your information on the INEC portal. How have, how have we, as an electorate and as Nigerians, taken that opportunity? We always wait for last minute, you know, to do everything. And then it, this doesn't also help our, uh, our course as a nation. Uh, if I may digress a little, you, in, 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 20, in 2015, there were about, just to buttress what the uh, INEC, commission, INEC commissioner mentioned, in 2015, there were about 840 something thousand uh, uh, voided votes, rejected votes, 840 something thousand. And just to 2019, the number is about 1.2 million, or at least 1.3 million. That is not acceptable because definitely, uh, probably, it's, it's, it's as a result of uh, uh, our haziness. We don't even understand properly the electioneering process and so on how 1.3 million will, 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 uh, will, will count to avoid uh, votes. That, that's, that's not ac uh, acceptable at all. So I think it is important that um, we understand the system that we are in. We also give INEC time so that we do not record a whole lot of problems when, when it's time for the general elections. All right. Uh, uh, the, the Nigerians also have to, um, you know, take a bit of the blame uh, for the situation we find ourselves in, uh, bearing in mind the fact that, you know, we usually would see people go out to uh, participate in activities, even we look at the national identity number, you know, uh, uh, registration, people went out last minute, people had to be blocked, you know, lines had to be blocked for people to take notice. So we need to have a change of our culture and the way we do things in this part of the world. Definitely. That's what I mentioned. We need to have a change of culture. We need to understand our system that we are still very much developing. And it doesn't go well for us to always leave things to the very last minute 
before we, uh, we take action. Uh, it is important that as a people, uh, we make things easier for our authorities as well. We make things easier, it's easy for our agencies and so on. INEC has a lot to do, and you should understand that they are short staff. You, 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 you recall and you understand that most of the, 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 the uh, they use a whole lot of ad hoc staff when it comes to general election period. So uh, uh, there, there is a lot that we need to do to make sure that the process is easier for the agencies and, 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 and our country uh, right. at, at large. Just, just a quick one. Uh, first of all, said that you know, they found 46% of uh, those who registered. They did a, a, a cleaned up the voter register. Uh, for those who registered between 28th June 2021 and 14th June 2022, just, just one year, 2021, 2022, June to June. And they found out that 46% of those who registered were invalid registrants, as many of them had registered already and came back to register. Mm -hmm. So it's still the problem that we talk about, you know, uh, and, and this shows that the more of the blame even is, uh, is, is, is with Nigeria. You know, why, 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 why go on to register again when you have registered earlier? But again, the system, why can't the system pick up immediately when you are in registry for the second or third time? If we have innovative systems, we, you know, like I keep mentioning, we use a whole lot of analog, not a whole lot of manual uh, in this jet age. Because if, for instance, even if it's, the, if it, even if it's um, the banks, you know, you go in and you try to input a certain information, the system can pick up that, oh, you have this information here already, you know? So, but we need to update our system. We need to make sure it conforms to latest technology that will be able to see and curb these problems uh, in, uh, uh, immediately it's occurring. You know that INEC had to go to another back end, spend another time, another resource, and so on, in order to All see right. these... Uh, kind of issues. All right. All right. Mohammed Abdullahi, you're saying we need to have uh, improved technology to make sure we solve these problems. I want to thank you very much for your time. It's been an interesting conversation with you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, we'll keep monitoring the activities. Of course, Anik has set its part through its uh, um, uh, National Commission of Voter Education, Fesses Okoye, uh, but it seems most Nigerians just want to have more time, uh, just like the House of Reps said last week, to to register to vote. My name is Kofi Bartels from all of us here at Plus TV Africa. Thanks for watching. You can follow us on uh, all our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa on YouTube. Search for Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. See you tomorrow. Good morning.